Guys, look how awesome the view from this hotel room is. guys I hope every single one of you is having an amazing day me personally the day is off to an all right start we're in Toronto which is amazing view from the hotel room as you saw was amazing the one thing that's not going so well today is as you guys know I didn't pack a jacket and it's a little bit cold here I'm thinking buying a jacket might be plan one for today I'm heading over to Eden Center right now it's like the big downtown mall in Toronto they have like H&M and Urban Outfitters and all those other places that I can get a reasonably priced jacket So obviously in this mall as well, there's a whole bunch of sneaker stores, there's a Foot Locker, there's a Champs. I don't know if there's anything else. And then across the street, there's like the flagship Foot Locker for all of Canada. With the House of Hoops, of course. We'll definitely be checking that out as well. Oof, this is a pair of shoes I actually feel is like really, really underrated. The Goddess Flyknit Racer, all white and then the black bottom. This is basically like the all white ultra boost 1.0 when it was all white and then the black bottom and there's actually like little hits of cream inside here so it's not like straight white so it's not gonna get dirty as soon as you touch it i'm a fan of these big big fan of these actually if you guys want to pick these up for retail same with the all blacks the all blacks are really slept on both of these all white all black fire now i need all of you guys to do me a favor you're gonna hop over to twitter and tweet Matt that he needs to buy these Duke Kyrie threes because these things are freaking sexy and it's it's a Duke shoe and he's like the biggest Duke fan on the history of the planet besides Mike Krzyzewski himself and he doesn't want to buy these so I think he needs to pick these up go go shoot him a tweet and let's see if we can get him to buy these I actually really really like these I've never tried on a pair of like the traditional fly weave Jordan 31s or this is the 31 right 32 what number are we on one day every 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 literally wow they have a lot of colorways actually one day every freaking day what if they are? yeah not feeling how those 15s look on feet that foot locker was yeah you know it was the same regular stuff that you see at 90 percent of the foot lockers i'm really surprised that the true blue threes are still sitting like they're sitting at our house of hoops but winnipeg is just weird for sneakers so to see them sitting there was pretty surprising now, I'm no Puma expert, except I was like 99% sure these are supposed to be Atlanta exclusive. And here they are sitting up in Canada, so more of that story is not Atlanta exclusive. I'm with my man Drew <laughs> in Champ Sports, drinking the iced coffee. Yeah. What you shopping for, man? Just in the just to look around. Just, just yeah. window shopping or whatever. What's like the best sneaker store to hit up around here? House of Hoops. House of Hoops like across the street? Across the street. Alright, there's there was dudes lined up. We'll show you later. There's dudes lined up at that store already for the Royals. Yeah. And it's Thursday. So that Champ Sports was once again nothing remarkable. They have all the same stuff that they have everywhere. Drew, my man, told me that House of Hoops actually has some really nice stuff. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I know your YouTube channel. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. How are you doing? There is one more store in this mall though. It's actually really cool. It's a Nike store. Well, it's actually just a Nike running store, but they have that one shoe that literally everyone has been talking about. So this is the shoe that everyone and their mom has been talking about the past week, the Nike Vapor Max. Now, I don't get the hype on this. It's it's an ugly looking Nike shoe. Like I'm sure they're comfortable. I'm sure they're comfortable. There's a lot of comfortable shoes in this world though. Sorry. No filming? Yeah. Oh man, can I take one picture and then I'll turn off the ca Okay, I can take pictures all I want, just no video? Okay. Classic Nike, no filming in Nike. I don't know why Nike doesn't want you to film in Nike. I've never been in a Nike store without being promptly asked not to film. Those employees were nice though, so I didn't want to like go behind their back. Plus the store is like really- ah, You freaked me out, man. I don't know who that kid was. I don't know if that was the guy I met in Champ Sports or not. I didn't even catch his face. That almost gave me a heart attack. Are you in line for the Royals? Are you in line for the Royals? That's dedication. <laughs> See what I mean? That dude outside was in line for the Royals. It's Thursday. Yo, this is a shoe I want to talk about because I really like this shoe. The KD9 Elite. Now, I have a regular pair of the KD9s. Don't have the Elites. These just came out like a week ago. These things look like beasts. I wouldn't wear these casually. wouldn't wear these off the court. But on the court, these things freaking sexy. These things look like amazing basketball performers. 
They just look amazing just aesthetically. These big laces going around the side, big fan of these. Like, there's no hype on these. But as I've tried to tell you guys for the past four years almost, there doesn't need to be hype on a shoe for it to be fire. All the regular Jordans, you got Wolf 3s, big fan of those. Motorsports, not a fan. Ultica 6 is not a fan. True Blues, I'm a fan, not for the price though. Um, same, 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 same. Cherry is how are those sitting. These are also fire. Wow, sneaker shopping in Toronto is not off to a good start. It's all good though, because there's a couple of consignment stores. Oh, you're in Toronto, eh? Yeah. That's sick. What's up? Oh, sorry for interrupting. No problem. Wow, Toronto, you guys are showing love. That's like the fifth person I've met just walking around in the last hour. As I was saying, there's two consignment stores, three boutiques around like within a 20 minute walk here that I will be checking out. But right now, there's an Adidas store literally right there. I'm gonna go hop in there and see what's up. Finally, some Ultra Boost, bang. Yeah, joke's on you, they're women's sizes. There's nothing in men's here. All right, I'm trying to find this other spot. It's like half a mile away, to be 100% honest. I have like no idea where I am right now. We are good, never mind. I found where we are, I remember that thing. I'm like 90% sure last time I was in Toronto, it didn't have that maple leaf there though. All right, after half an hour of searching, Finally found it. Look at look at this. This is a this is a large amount of shoes. I love this guy, man. Love Thank you. Guy. I love you too. Yeah, yeah. Best YouTube. Yo, subscribe if you haven't. Okay. I yeah, right. My... If you haven't subscribed, yeah. subscribe. This is a lot of shoes. This is a good thumbnail too. Whew. These are two shoes that just don't get enough love. Ever. These things are amazing. This is like the limited one from Concepts. This is the GR one. I think this one's nicer. I just I think the green and the red goes better than just the black and the gold. I just, this is a way nicer shoe. I want these so bad. Guess what's retroing in like four weeks. I'm, no, four weeks, five weeks, in like a month and a half, six weeks, however many weeks that is. These are coming out. No jump in on the back, Nike Air on the tongue. Whew. Can't wait for those. I'm gonna buy approximately 72 pairs. Look at the Ultra Boost. They got the Kith ones, they got the Pusha T's. Those aren't Ultra Boost, but those are nice. They got the triple black, like the original triple black. I saw those like two months before they released. Those are, those are fire, I love those. They got, wow. I could go broke here. That is another one that I need to get. I just, I don't want to drop hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on them. Royals up there, got my pair secured already. Got two pairs secured already. These ones, I need to get these ones too. These are, they have a jump man, I'll deal with it. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I completely, 100% forgot that these existed. I just completely forgot that they existed. These are nice. These are like the Joe Johnson P's and they're called like the Reverse Concord and they were called like the, bow ties or the tux or the suit and tie, I don't know. They're called something. These released 2013, 2014, really, I don't know, why didn't I pick them up? Probably because I was broken in high school at the time. That's probably why I didn't pick them up. I should get these though. I said that about, I've probably said that like 30 times today. Ooh. Love these ones too. These are probably my size. These look like my size. Size 13, can I see the size tag in here? They got all of them like locked to the wall so you don't run away with them. Size 12, I could rock with a size 12. Wonder how much they're charging for these. Oh yeah, and then we have the actual heat back there. So I don't know how well you can see, except there's like a whole bunch of Yeezys. There's Yeezy 2s. 350 V1s, 750s. There's a Kobe Fade to Black Pack. There's Supreme Jordans. That's a lie, there's Supreme Foam Posits. There's no Supreme Jordans. And there's like the Tokyo 5. Just thousands and thousands and probably a hundred thousand dollars back there. Oh, 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 like the same oh, 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 so close, so close. So I just want to clear up how the key master works because there's a lot of misconceptions about it. I like playing it every time I see one. There's none in Winnipeg, so it's a fun thing for a video to spend $5 on it. Great, now it's snowing. Still don't have a jacket. As I was saying though, guys, those key masters have literally nothing to do with skill. How they work is they have a minimum payout that they need to hit before there's even the most minute chance of you winning a pair of shoes. So for instance, let's say they have a pair of Yeezy V2 Zebras. They go for around, let's say, $1,600. That means at most stores, you're probably going to have to put in at least $2,200, $2,400 before the machine will even allow you to win. Oh, 
my goodness, and it is absolutely, oh, it's pouring rain. Who decided to make it rain today? Come on. This, I didn't even bring a jacket. 